Welcome everyone. We're going to do a, a nice big card reading today. Um, I'm going to do a pick a card. So we're going to be um, shuffling a few decks and we're going to have three options and then you can choose one of those three options. And Before we start though, let's do some healing for you, grounding, health, joyfulness, and some for our space, so we nice and clear space for us where we can do our reading, and a little bit for me. And we um, connect with our spiritual source and our guides. And we ask that they help us to understand the messages that come through today. And that we have a really safe and sacred space. whereby we can feel comfortable to just listen to the messages and receive them with gratitude. And all of this will happen for our highest good. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so put that away. So I was thinking, I'm going to do a reading about um, and you know what can asking the question what can I do today today so that I can be less anxious to help me with anxiety if, I, if you have worries or you feel a bit anxious what is it that you can do today to feel less so so I'm going to shuffle the deck. You can forward because there'll be timestamps where you can see all three of the options and then you can choose. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so we have shuffled and I'm going to use some guides. Let's zoom in a little, shall we? Excellent. So what we have here are three choices for you. Number one is a piece of wood that I picked up on the beach in Sweden. 
Number two is um, uh, a branch from a fig tree that um, I picked up from the ground in um, the UK. And this is a stick that's supposed to help you with when you have a headache, you burn it and you smell the smoke, which I got from a Khoisan man in South Africa. So you have option one, two or three. Um, what can I do today to help me lessen my anxiety and my worries? Good. So let's start with option one, shall we? Oops. Option number one. Let's have a look. Take some time out. Take time to be by yourself. Go quiet, switch off, switch, switch off completely. Switch off news, switch off people, switch off whatever you need to, to go quiet and into yourself. Know that you have the, the strength with you in order to become less anxious. You are definitely strong enough. You have the support. Yeah. You don't always need to, um, you know, you don't need to, to have this anxiety and fear and worry because you can handle it. You can handle anything, even if it doesn't look like it. If you think to yourself um, where you are now in your life and you think back at a time when you were really struggling, you might struggle now, but they were in the past times because we always struggle, right? There might have been times when you struggle. Think of yourself then and how you thought you would never get out of it. But you did because you were strong enough. And this is exactly what this message is for you. Yeah. Look at that tower falling. There's a lot of um, a lot of things happening that's pretty damn intense right now for you, right? And you might feel very anxious and very worried and very concerned. But know that, you know, you will get through this because you have in the past, you have gotten through this. And getting through this focus on yourself is very important. It really is very important to to go to just switch off. Switch off. I just that's all you can do is to switch off. And use your intuition. You know, we are sometimes so um, focused on the facts and the you know the things that we read. That's like this is the truth you know, that we hear from outside. But yeah, you know, sometimes it's better to just switch those things off and to listen to that voice, that that knowing that you have. We as humans, we know what's right. We know it. We instinctively know it if we just open ourselves and focus on that. And there is something to be said about when you struggle and when you worry and when you're anxious to, to be generous, you know, to, to give, um, give to be generous with your time, be generous with your love, you know, be, just be generous because I think, yes, this is says saying switch off, but I don't think it means switch off when I talk about um, it means switch off from the negative stuff. Yeah. So that means switch off from negative things, but open yourself up to also share and be generous with your gifts that you have and connect that way and just give of yourself because sometimes when we also focus a little bit outside of ourselves right then we forget so much about the 
obsessions and the worries that we have inside. Does that make sense? Yeah. And start fresh, starting fresh. A wonderful new beginning is blossoming in my life. Look how, look at that joyful, beautiful card. Doesn't it just make you feel peaceful just looking at it? The colors. So maybe start looking at things differently. When you, when you feel that anxiety coming, when you feel the, um, the worry, the thoughts of worry, you know, recognize that it is a little bit destructive there for you. Yeah, it, it can destroy things for, with all your worry. And know that you are strong enough because you have been in the past. You've gotten through stuff. You know, sometimes being worried is um, the actual worry and being anxious about things that might happen is actually worse than what actually can happen. So use your intuition and use your inner feeling of knowing that I'm strong enough. I can deal with it. And let me just let me just look a little bit deeper at this. Why am I so anxious? Do I really have um, reason for that? Is my reasoning really good enough? You know, is it is it valid? And sometimes it is valid. But just remember, you can worry yourself into a stress situation where you cannot breathe and there's still nothing you can do about the outcome of the situation. So sometimes it's good to just let go and switch off and just be. So this is all for this, this option. Um, thank you for watching. Now, option number two, if you chose the fig tree stick, <laughs> Let's see, how can you, um, what can you do today to be less anxious and worry less? Yeah. Um, a lot in your head, aren't you? Is a lot of times, a lot of the worry that we have and the anxiety we have is in our heads. We mull it over and we play over all the things that go wrong. It's this can happen, that can happen. And it makes us all really quite worked up and sad when there is this beautiful sunrise with the birds singing and she doesn't notice that because she's so inside her head, inside herself. So look up, look out and look up and go and see what's out there, right? Yeah, get creative. Go and do something, you know, use your, use your creativity. This little guy is like um, painting. He's, he's creating something with art and he's making a mess. See that? Make a mess with being creative. Go and make some pancakes and just break the eggs and drop some flour on the floor and just be free. Stop. Stop. Um, trying to control and trying to be so inside of yourself and open up to all these other possibilities that are there. It's like, it feels like you have so much beautiful things in your life. You know, look at all of this. This is like such a celebration. Picnic outside and there's so much love and um, abundance. You know, all of these wonderful things, but unless you manage to step out of your internal thoughts and processes of what can go wrong and not free yourself from that, you will always stay in there. So look up, look up. Yeah, yeah. Empower yourself. Um, you know, take control of your mind. Learn. Learn different techniques on how to stop worrying, interrupt your worry. You, you know, there's 
so many ways that you can do that to interrupt your worry. Um, I think I have a video that I made actually about that or some time ago. If I do, I will link it below. Um, <clears throat> and you can have a look at that. But find ways and techniques that can help you. And yes, listen to your heart. Empower yourself. Use your inner your inner knowledge. Use your the things that you know that you feel instead of getting being in your head. Get out of your head and get into your into your emotions. Get into your heart. Get into your that feeling part of you. And yes, enjoy enjoy the little things in life. You know, these, look how joyful this card is. You have that. You have access to that. And it doesn't have to be these big events. It can be little, little joys. Yeah, the little joys are so important for us to get out of our cycles of worry and anxiety. You know, put on some nice makeup if, if you wear makeup. Listen to some music. Go and smell the flowers, you know. Pack yourself a sandwich and, and even if you can, go to a park and just sit under a tree. Eat, eat your sandwich. If you have a garden or a balcony, if you're lucky enough, go and have your lunch or dinner out there. It's really, it's as, as um, it's all about the little things. It's all about getting dirty, you know, like, like throwing things around, having fun with it. Not in anger, but you know, splashing, make a splash, jump in the bath and let the water come out, have fun, enjoy life and get out of your head, get out of your head. Okay, that's it for number two. Okay, so, so now we have option number three, if you chose the headache, headache helping stick. <laughs> um, let's have a look at how, what you can do today to, um, to lessen your anxiety. Take off the blindfold. Yeah. You cannot, you cannot stop your worry unless you open your eyes. Yeah. Um, there's own you know you you not a circus person that maybe you are but <laughs> that can have blindfold and you know those guys that throw the knives at the lady and then they miss her every time do you really want to risk that it's it's take off your blindfold you have two arms you have two two eyes take it off because once you take it off you can you can see clearly you you'll be you it's like, see how she, th it looks like she's throwing that hat up. It's throwing the blindfold away. Because really, if, if you, if you keep this, um, if you keep the blindfold on, it is really hard to, to see clearly, to make, to make really um, decisions or choices that are valid, not choices based on fear, fear of something, but choices based on looking inside and having all the facts that you need in order to make a wise choice for yourself or the right choice for yourself. Yeah, you are, you, you're strong enough to do this. You, you're strong enough to work on your, on how to work with worry. You're strong enough to let go of your fears. You, there's someone in your life that is there for you, that can really help you. The Queen of Pentacles is this strong, feminine figure that, look how she's connected to the earth. And whoever you thought of for that this moment when I said there's somebody that can help you, draw from that person that you know. Go and ask for help. Talk to them. To help you with your dealing with your fears, right? Yeah, because there is strength there. And remember, you know, you don't always need to. Also, you can go to someone, yeah, because they can give you support. 
But in the end, the strength is inside of you already. You, you can work with things yourselves, by yourself, so that um, you don't, um, you can stop being so anxious about things that might happen, might not happen. I mean, can you see more two opposing options here? One is this absolute joy of letting go. And the other one is quite dark and, and heavy and, you know, it creates a little bit of a inside you feeling, right? And take off that blindfold and you'll be able to distinguish between what is the valid one of the two, which one is the one that, that um, I should focus on. Because the more you focus on negative things as well, the more heavier your life becomes and the more stuck you become in in the cycles of your life yeah exactly check do a do a check with yourself check in with yourself regularly even when you're not in a cycle of worry go and check just do a little in breath and feel how you feel you know see see what you feel and start to recognize with this way of checking how you feel when things when is it that you worry do you worry when you lie in bed at night before you go to sleep do you worry when you watch too much tv do you worry when you talk with certain people what is it that triggers that worry for you or the anxiety for you and start seeing if you can either avoid that or if you can start learning ways of dealing with that on how to um, how to help you to shift when you start feeling the worry come and to interrupt it or to change it. You know, maybe you need to go and see somebody and talk to somebody about your cycle of worry and your anxiety levels. Yeah, investigate, investigate it. Look deeper, just look deeper. But do it in a way that you can be kind to yourself. Don't just jump into exploring your anxiety because it can also be a very overwhelming feeling for you. Right? I mean, it's, it's, it's hard work. It's a big thing when you decide that you want to stop being anxious and w work with your anxiety and your worry. So always keep a check on yourself and find help from others but also know that you you can do this you are strong enough you know you have that strength look at these beautiful beautiful um crystals that's just lying there and that represents the crystals in your soul this is your soul down there with all those beautiful beautiful radiance you are strong enough you have a beauty inside of you a worry-free and anxious-free life inside of you. So thank you so much for watching. I send you blessings.